Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. This is GMTV. You are welcome to GMTV today being on the 22nd of June 2024 and we are bringing you this news very very fast about what is going on in Biafaland and also the international community recognizing Maizu Salman Ekpa as a legitimate person that is fighting for his people. As you can see on the screen, um, he said Biafra that's for Biafra. It's a U.S. Justice Department recognizes B R G I E. That's Mazi, someone Ekpa, and the government. So with this, uh, we're going to go down to the other one. Before then, I'm going to say thank you very much for coming to that channel, to watching, also listening. Um, sometimes we do stream live. Please try to hook up with us anytime you see us streaming live. Try to hook up with us with, because we are giving you a lot of information from different professionals and professors and also for everybody to be enlightened of what is going on so that everybody will be carried along. Nobody should be a victim of circumstances. On this note, if today is your first time of coming across our channel, please do us a favor, like, share, so comment, let other people know about GM TV. And then now we're going to move down to the next um, uh, news about what is going on in Biafaland and also how people are tricking people to be a, a victim of something they don't know about and the tricks are here now we're going to read it so you guys listen to it if you have not seen it before and follow suit and also be guided on everything that you're doing this is gmtv let's go on this he said those those falling for their trick and scam called amnesty should write their will because you can't betray Biafra freedom where many people have sacrificed their life and you were part of them. It is a dead it is dead on arrival. You can't live to tell the story. Biafrans are not joking. So this one is regarding to, to this very very um, news that is underneath um that said uh, dear um, Simon Ekpa, you must listen to me now. Something is already going on right now in my village, Eziawa, in Osu local government, Imo State. They are now pleading and convincing our people to go for amnesty and they will be working freely. This is what they mean by their so-called uh, Amnesty International. This message just coming from Azizah Manepka about what is going on and the things that are going on right in the area. A lot of people are deceiving people for them to fall into victim that they are Amnesty International. Which means they use it to deceive people that are, so that people can listen to them and, uh, um, and make everything possible for them to be all working. This is Gem TV. We'll be going down to the next news. Then wait for us as we carry on with this very one. Yes, there's another news here which is so, so, so fascinating. We didn't really know that Nigerian government went as far as this to go to uh, Finland Prime Minister and interviewing him and also telling all kind of lie against Mazi Samonekpa about what is happening in Biafra land and also in the Nigerian territory. They lied in a way whereby they can also uh, kidnap Mazi Samanekpa so that uh, he can, they can bribe them so that uh, they can release Mazi and Mazi Samanekpa to them so that uh, they can uh, prosecute him or take him to Nigeria to, or deport him to Nigeria. This thing is, um, they spoke it with a Finnish language, but I'm going to read what Mazi Samanekpa said and also after that I'm going to play the video. So that you guys can listen to it if you if you understand um Finnish language. So let's go with this. He said Nigeria tourist state did everything to silent me and all failed. Even and um, they used even um, Finnish media. They pushed all manner of propaganda against me using Finnish media and all propaganda failed. I am still standing even stronger. They even used the media to approach the current Prime Minister of the Finland to condemn me, 
but he refused to condemn a man who has done nothing wrong than protecting his people against terrorist government. Here is the current Prime Minister of Finland comment about me. They claim it was trying to uh, stop election. They, t- they, they, sorry, they claim I was trying to stop the election in Nigeria. Today, are you not regretting the election? Yeah, exactly. They are regretting the election. And also, people are saying something that is not so, they're not supposed to say. People that are even crying that uh, Mazi Samonekwa is trying to stop the election in Nigeria. They have made the election now. Who is stopping who now? And who who are the people complaining? It's still the people that went ahead to vote for somebody that is not competent to be in a position that they want still complaining on this very, very one. See? So who is to blame? The people that um, voted for the current government, they are to blame. So I'm going to play this video for you now to watch it. Then we'll move on to the next news so that everybody can get along with this. This is GMTV. Nigerian hallitus on keskustellut tilanteesta useita kertoja Suomen Nigerian suurlähettilään kanssa ja vaatinut Suomea keskeyttämään Ekpan toiminnan. Koska Ekpa on Suomen kansalainen, valtion mahdollisuudet puuttua hänen aktivismiinsa ovat rajalliset. Suojelupoliisi ja keskusrikospoliisi kieltäytyvät kommentoimasta tapausta. Asia mietityttää myös kokoomusta. Näettekö kokoomuksessa tämän ongelmana, että lahtelainen kokoomuksen paikallispoliitikko Simon Ekpa yrittää estää vaalien järjestämisen Nigeriassa? Tämä on sellainen asia, joka on meillä nyt selvityksessä puolueessa ja, ja tota, palataan tähän, kun on tarkempi kuva siitä, mikä on, mistä on kyse. Paikallisella tasolla arvioidaan ehdokkaat sen tiedon valossa, mitä heistä saadaan, mutta kuten totesin, niin tämä, tätä asiaa nyt selvitetään. Yes, I hope you have listened to that and see how far these people have gone to bring Mazi Samanekpa down. But God refused to let Mazi Samanekpa down through the media team and everybody surrounding Mazi Samanekpa and the government of Finland because Mazi Samanekpa, the prime minister, is not doing anything bad. Everything that he's doing is legitimate and also is, has the right. Everybody has everybody have the right to defend their own people and their own self. With this word you can see on the screen now. He said, U.S. Justice Department recognizes BROGIE an entity for Biafra independence. This one is another news. You see, authorities, that is, they are all carrying this news. This is the authority. That is the name of this news uh, agency. And also with the logo that you can see there, that is the uh, logo of the um, justice uh, um, area or sector on that particular one. And there's uh, something that's accompanying this very one as well. So I'm going to read it so that you can um, listen to it and uh, maybe if we can finish it, then that will be that will be it. So listen to it. You said the United States Department of Justice has officially rec- registered um, the Biafra Rep- Republic government in exile as an entity for Biafra independence. This is according to recent information obtained from the website of the U.S. Justice Department reacting to the development. The, the Prime Minister of BROGIE, through his official ex handle on Friday, said this is the step in the right direction. He further said the U.S. Justice Department approved all paperwork requesting legitimacy. With the development, he assured Biafrans that the independence of Biafra would would remain sacrosanct after declaration on December 2024 and uh, de- December 2nd, 2024. And he further said the following approval of the United States Department of Justice, the Biafra Republic government in exile BROGIE is now uh, an officially registered entity with the United States Department of Justice, he said. Recall that barely a week ago, the BROGIE insisted that the declaration of Biafra independence would restore peace to the West African region. Hmm. 
this is very very good and a good message please those people that are not supporting this very very struggle you're not doing yourself any favor at all because what is coming right now is going to be an earthquake and it will shake it will shock everybody and if you don't put your hand there if you don't support what the prime minister is doing you'll be a victim of uh, circumstances or victim of i don't care because this thing have been sounding for a very very long time more than three four years now since mazin and the have been kidnapped that those people that do not support this this uh, uh, freedom will pay dearly with everything they have in their possession and they will pay dearly and most of them will not be allowed to enter biafra land because of the role they played and uh, that is damaging everything that Mazi Samonekpa is doing, making it more difficult or, or and spoiling everything that Mazi Samonekpa is doing. And at the same time, with this, if people are not very, very careful about what is going on now, it's going to affect a lot of people because they are leading people, um, they are leading people astray to be doing the wrong thing. While the Prime Minister is trying to pull everybody back and say, look. What we are doing now is legitimate and you should put your hand and support every legitimate thing that we are doing because we are uh, we are not breaching the contract of uh, of uh, the United Nations or the Treaty of the United Nations of which Nigeria is signatory to it and also they don't obey the court order, they don't obey law, they go against every law that is being pushed out that they know but they want to sweep you under the carpet just because they are in power. With this, we're going to leave you here today. Um, this is where we're going to stop this um, news. Remain blessed as always. And bye for now. This is GMTV.